All right, this is um, FRQ question number three of what? 2024 AP Bio exam. We're going to be answering these questions. Hopefully you will join us for them. I've already posted one and two, going to be posting four, five, six. There's the formula sheet. Don't know why I'm showing you that. You've seen it already. We're going to move on down here to question number three. There's four. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Here's question number three. Let's look at it together. To investigate whether red blood cells of animals lose the ability to take in glucose from their environment as they age. Scientists collected red blood cells from guinea pigs that ranged in age from one day old to seven months old. Scientists incubated the equal, an equal number of red blood cells in separate culture dishes that contained a 300 nanometer solution in radioactively labeled glucose. The amount of radioactively labeled glucose present inside the red blood cells each group's measured over time. Part A, describe the difference between passive and active transport. Interesting. This is easy. Passive transport requires no energy, whereas active transport requires energy. Next. That was easy. Vocab question. Part B. Justify why the scientists use an equal number of red blood cells in each culture dish as a control. What's interesting to me is that this is the third question in a row that has had us um, talk about some sort of experimental design question. So hopefully you guys nailed that. It's really simple. Uh, why would they use an equal number of red blood cells? Well, if there's a different number of red blood cells in each of the different trials, then that also is a variable, right? And so then you're measuring more than one variable. And so the reason that you keep them the same is so that you're only testing one variable at a time. You could also probably say to keep, to keep all the other uh, conditions constant, that would have been fine too. Both, I mean, it's essentially saying the same thing. Um, part C. Glucose transporters required for facilitated diffusion of glucose into red blood cells. Scientists claim that the expression of gene encoding these transporters decreases as guinea pigs age. If the scientist's claim is supported by experimental data, predict the effect of an increased age on the amount of radioactive labeled glucose present inside the cells. That is going to be the important word there because I could see how we would really easily get flip flopped on this one. And so, okay, uh, glucose is in the tray, right? The cells are in the tray. In order to get glucose inside the cell, those transporters have to be present, but those transporters are going to be less present or less active in older guinea pigs. And so, um, predict the effect of increased age. There's going to be less glucose inside the cells as guinea pigs age that's it justify your prediction for part c um well if there is less co-transport happening you could use that vocab term right it's biology teachers that are grading your frq so you don't have to try to impress them but you could say that in order to um you know it's just makes your words quicker easier um the less co-transport that is occurring, the less um, glucose that is going to be in the amount of cell or the less amount or um, whatever, however you word that. So this one was pretty easy. It only took me just a few minutes to answer that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be looking at questions number four, five, and six. I already looked at questions number one. You should go check those out. You should subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos. If you're taking zoology, if you're taking anatomy and physiology, maybe you've got a friend taking AP Bio, show them this. Show your teacher. They maybe could benefit from this as well. Thanks for watching.